we played Max MK1 Shang Tsung in Faction Wars, but that type of video is fun. In this video, what we're trying to do is see how useful MK1 Shang Tsung is with just a single copy, because realistically, how many people are going to max this character? The only way you can do that right now is by spending money. So not many people are going to be willing to do that. So we're actually going to see how he works in towers like Classic and Black Dragon with only a single copy. Is it worth the crypt grind? Let's find out. Firstly, we're going to start with Classic Tower because Classic Tower is um, one of my favorites. I don't even think I have to have any Classic gear on. No, we're not. We're not going to have any Classic Tower gear on. We have some Black Dragon stuff. We're just going to see how this team works out. I have a few different teams in mind to use with MK1 Shang Tsung, but he's a little bit of an awkward character. He can pair very well with the Denny and Blood Rain, though. And the reason why is because of the lightning on his combo enders. Okay. Well, oh, that's not good. Okay. What we're going to go for here is a singular special attack, too. And we're going to try to go for a stun loop and see how effective it is. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to craft the elixir. This is a swipe left and tap. Okay, immediately stab him. This will stun Shang Tsung and reduce his speed. So we're going to use SP2 yet again. Oh my god. Stun loop is going strong. We haven't even needed to use any of the other characters. Not yet. We could though. Okay, stun, stun lasts long enough to just keep repeating your special attack too. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Jeez. Okay, so he got back some of his HP. Oh god, the shields come back too. I forgot about that. Okay. Alright. Stab him. Hopefully he doesn't evade. Okay, yeah. You have to make sure that you use special attack too while he's stunned. That way he won't evade. Alright. Keep going. <laughs> Alright. Before he evades, perfect. He has a 30% speed reduction. That's insane. What? I don't understand how that happened, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Every time he uses a special attack, that's when I think it comes back to him, doesn't it? Alright, we're gonna use uh, Classic Rain. Probably just finish this guy off. Classic Rain should do the rest. What exactly did MK1 Shang Tsung provide in this game? You know what? Not a whole lot. But we were just trying to see how much damage he can do at Fusion Zero against bosses with a decent preset which is well, my preset here was spamming the stun loop shing song finally a character we can do a stun loop with oh my god okay that's it sp2 we are going to complete this in one attempt right oh, almost didn't almost didn't if he heals no he's not going to heal besides a stun loop doing tons of damage over time against the opponent, turning Shang Tsung into a semi-DPS, what else does he do? Well, SP2 applies Incurability. Now, if you don't know what Incurability does, it prevents the opponent from regening. And what tower is going to be coming out very soon that has regeneration at Tower 200? That's correct, Black Dragon Tower Fatal. And that's why Shang Tsung may be an amazing option to handle that because gear needs to be almost maxed out to deal with it currently. Princess Guard is one of the only gears that applies Inker ability, but you're going to want to have it maxed if you want to have the chance high enough. It's almost like they want you to purchase a, a copy of them, like guaranteed. So we're going to try a different team with MK1 Shang Tsung. Let's try an Adenium Blood team. The Denny and Blood is a team that I was already thinking about. Oh, I was even thinking about getting a Circle Shadow team ready. We're going to be using a Denny and Blood Rain and Classic Reptile. These teams come from my Discord server. I asked what, what uh, characters I should use MK1 Shang Tsung with, and these were a few of the answers. Teams like this, teams like this. 
We're only doing a few regular battles for fun, just to see how it works out. Does the lightning go well with a man like Shang Tsung? Probably. Oh, there we go. Oh, god damn. Damn. That's some serious damage. Okay. Oh my god. Dude, we're snaring. He's annoying enough for me to snare him. We don't do a whole lot of damage with basic attacks alone. I think the stun loop is the main way we're going to be doing damage. And SP2 says it's high on damage, but it doesn't feel like it. It really doesn't. Okay, what we're going to do is immediate power gen reduction. Yeah. Okay, power drain. That's going to power drain everything off of his hotbar. <laughs> Look at that. It's so smooth. Oh, meat! Meat! Meat comes out! <laughs> Not for long. Doesn't matter. We take care of Tanya easily. Battles like this should be no challenge for MK1 Shang Tsung, even at zero, fusion level zero. Although I didn't see much integration with uh, Edenian Blood Rain. Not yet. Uh, Classic Reptile is supposed to be here for poison, but also for critical hit chance bonus. Against bosses, I don't see that being the best card to choose because of the poison. Uh, poison's not going to work, but in regular battles, it's a pretty good option. Not going to lie. It does pair well with MK1 Shang Tsung. He's just that awkward character still. We got to figure out what teams work best with him. Seriously. No Adenia Blood Rain integration? Is it only on the combo where you stab the opponent with your potion? Nope, still no lightning. This is the only combo right here. Nope, not even that one. Hold on, let's try to get the combo again. Nope, nothing. Oh my god, we're not stabbing them at all. Nope, still no stab. I don't get it. Oh, he's going to power drain. I'm going to tag out. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to do SP SP3 at this point. Just for fun. Just for funsies. Let's pull it off. I don't recommend using a Denny Blood Rain with... MK1 Shang Tsung. Fear could be something that you want to apply, but I don't I don't see it, guys. I had any Blood Rain, he's lost my points. I don't think so. Next team I was uh, recommended is a Lizard team. And the reason why is because of the team Thrill. It should work with everyone on the um, team. It doesn't matter if they're Lizard or not. So we're gonna give it a shot. I don't know if this is gonna work. Let's see. The critical hit chance could be very high. I'll show my talent tree. My talent tree looks like this. I don't have special ending on, and my supports are set up so that spe special attack 2 can be spammed over and over and over again, which is perfect for MK1 Jinx Song, in my opinion. It is perfect. We're not using Lizard Baraka. We're using MK1 Jinx Song. All right, let's see how he does against this boss. Is the team thrill going to get us? Oh, yeah, look, it is applying to us. Is it going to give us some good lethal damage, potentially, here? What should we apply? I'm thinking speed reduction and stun again. His combos are so good. I'm not gonna lie. They're so good. Damn, Shang Tsung. Damn. Oh my god. I think one of the best things about this character is probably the fact that he can gain power. Oh, yeah, maybe she could have evaded that if she was lucky. Um, but, you know, one thing that I uh, love about Shang Tsung is getting power from each potion hit. There's a lot of people saying that Shang Tsung could be nerfed in the next update because of how overpowered this stun loop is. And I see it, I see it possible, at least. I do. <laughs> And we're not doing a whole lot of damage, but for fusion level zero, I guess it's not bad. <laughs> yeah. 
So we're going to craft a different potion. One that will power drain her instantly. And then we're going to switch to uh, Lizard Baraka. And use SP2. How much damage are we going to do? Oh! Evaporated. Absolutely devoured this girl. <laughs> God damn. Tag out to Lizard Jade. Nope. No. Stop thinking you have a chance. Oh my god. She actually might. I really don't like it when Scarlet has her little red shield. Oh god. I don't think we're going to be able to do this in one attempt. Miserable. So there's a question. Is meat worth using in boss battles? My answer is probably going to have to be no. And here's why. I think the effects are better. Power drain, speed re reduction, and stun, uh, and whatnot over meat. Unless, unless you have done enough damage to the bosses that the next game you play, you're guaranteed to kill one of the bosses. Because then it's time to whip out your Shang Tsung and turn him into meat. That could be perfect. Perfect use case. I don't see it being as good of an option in a normal battle like this. We might test it out. We might see how good meat is in a normal battle. There's so many different characters you can turn into meat with. This is this is only one of many. Um, I wish we could turn into Scarlet, not gonna lie. I do. But she's just gonna have to go down. Goodbye, girl. Goodbye. Not feeling you today. Not feeling you. You should have bought my elixir. Now this is going to be fun. Have a look at this. <laughs> this is going to be fun. We're using Fujin and Circle Shadow Nightwolf. Circle Shadow Nightwolf will attack in the background. And if you want to attack me... Oh, I was going to say. If you wanted to attack me, it wasn't going to work since we have Shang Tsung. Oh, all right. What we're going to do is snare him. Firstly, um, I can already tell maybe we're doing a slight. No, we're not even doing that much less damage than when we were using Jade. Oh, thanks, Nightwolf. Oh, I thought I was going to get a special attack increase. Never mind. Never mind. How much damage are we going to do? Should kill her, actually. Yep. Wait, no? Damn. Okay, what's gonna we're gonna craft we're gonna craft a there we go incoming damage decrease does it end instantly oh that sucks Impressive. all right we're gonna become jason that's gonna be a fun one. Oh wait what i thought he already oh that <laughs> that's just ggs goodbye you know what? This one's not that bad. I would use this in a boss battle. It could be good if the bosses have a, a shield on 24-7. Nightwolf would constantly apply shield break. He might be a good teammate for MK1 Shang Tsung. So we're going to do one more battle and end off this video. I will be using MK1 Shang Tsung against more bosses in the future. But I just wanted to see how good the stun loop is. And how effective he is, damage-wise, at fusion level 0. We even have a few gears that are Black Dragon on. So there's no real excuse if he's not doing a crap ton of damage at these low fights. I tried some of the higher up stages, and um, I'm going to tell you guys, I struggled. And it's because of Sub-Zero. Sub-Zero just keeps evading and then instantly killing me. Another thing that's really bad if you have a fusion 0, MK1 Shang Tsung, is Psych Bomb. You will instantly die to psych bomb it does not matter it doesn't matter what character you have on you'll just instantly die to psych bomb which is not good not good in the slightest you don't want that to happen <laughs> maybe i don't i don't have to tell you guys twice okay yep thank you thank you nightwolf saving me from this embarrassment i used to think that only worked with circle shadow teammates but it doesn't I right, was crafting Alexer. Oh, speed decrease is going to be an absolute necessary um, injection 
for Lizard Baraka because of how good of a character he is. All right. I'd love to be a meat Lizard Baraka, not gonna lie. I would love that. Um, hello? Okay, SP2. Perfect. You're not going anywhere, buddy. All right. All right. You are mine. We are going to be Lizard Baraka now. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to be Lizard Baraka with, with uh, meat. We're going to kill him with meat. I also want to point out that you can turn into meat even if you don't kill the opponent with MK1 Shang Tsung. I should have mentioned that in my MK1 Shang Tsung review. But yeah, you can, you can turn into meat either way. Which is very important to note. If you're in a tower battle, you can turn into meat regardless. And that's something I will be trying out, because you will be able to turn into meat regardless. When I play Black Dragon Tower 200, I will be using MK1 Shang Tsung, probably fused up quite a bit. But I'm going to be killing one of the bosses um, after he's been spelled by MK1 Shang Tsung and snared and turning it to me and seeing how effective that type of strategy is. Anyways, guys, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Um, I love making Fusion Zero uh, test videos and just trying out a few teams that people comment down below. Peace out.